Attention troopers, this is Devon Stein. Welcome back to Timberborn. Our Iron Thief settlement has now reached a point where the beaver droids or golems are producing their own replacements. As a consequence, our settlement now has more droids than actual beavers. As the population transitions from biological into mechanical, and some new additional buildings that demand a lot of power, energy management has become more important than ever. Right now, we are producing all of our energy requirements from water wheels, which means that as soon as drought hits, our energy production will be a big fat zero. We do have some backup generators for emergencies, but I would like to expand our energy storage until we can store enough energy for an entire drought season. To do so, we'll build more gravity batteries on higher elevation. Since adjacent buildings can share power with each other, I will stack some warehouses besides the stairwell so they can transfer power upwards while also storing some goods. And now the builders have done all they could from this district. As you can see, the construction site is too far from the district center, as indicated by this red line. Which means that we have to build a new district to extend the range of our builders. Normally, creating a new district at this height is problematic because there's no immediate access to water and food. But that's not an issue if you're using droids. Without the need to transport food or water, we only need to make sure this district is connected to the power grid so our droids can recharge their energy plus a control tower to boost their performance. Thank you. 
after droid infrastructure is secure, we can start migrating some droids to be our workforce in this district. We also need to make sure the droids in Cloud District get enough material for building the gravity batteries plus the supporting platforms. Then we can continue to build upwards until we hit the height limit of this map. So this is the height limit, as you can see I can no longer place anything higher than this. So we'll stop the stairwell here and stack some more warehouses. It looks like the gravity battery is too tall to be placed at this height. So we're gonna have to go back down quite a bit. Now we just need to place the batteries directly over some trenches to maximize the battery capacity. Thankfully we have previously made a couple of parallel trenches for the old batteries, so we're gonna dig alongside these too.
Alright, the first battery is up and running. At this height, the capacity is at 60,000 horsepower hour. We can actually move this up one more level and add 2,000 capacity to the batteries, but I'm comfortable at this level with 60k. That's three times the capacity of the old batteries, and we'll go ahead and scale up the whole thing with more batteries.
Okay, here's the problem. This platform are too far from the cloud district, which means the batteries above them cannot be constructed. So we have to create yet another district really high up there to extend the bloom range.
Let's call this one the Sky District because it's higher than the clouds. <laughs> Notice that the build range is still not quite there yet because the Sky District starts from this gate. So we need to move this gate one level down so that the Sky District may include the top level of this battery tower. Now that the construction site is reachable from the Sky District, we can transfer our workers from the Lower Cloud District and don't forget to set up supply routes for building materials. Finally, our battery tower is fully completed. A single gravity battery at this height can hold 60,000 horsepower hour of energy. Since we have 40 of them, this battery tower can store a grand total of 2.4 million horsepower hour of energy. If we run up our energy demand to 7,000 horsepower, and since the droids work 24 hours per day, our energy storage can last up to 14 days straight. This would mean that if for some reason the Iron Teeth Beavers go extinct, there will always be a droid to restart the breeding pods and save the Iron Teeth race from certain doom. If only the humans figured that out before going extinct and getting replaced by beavers of all people. This is Darwin Stein turning off.